Hey everybody, my name is Cooper Bebo. Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at Sacked. I don't know much about this game as usual. Let's dive in. New game. I don't even know, am I a ghost or a pillow? What is that? Awaken. Hero, awaken. Awaken. You must help our world. Please, help our world or your world will fall. Nice animation. I've been saying for a while now, a lot of these indie games, I don't, I'm not sure how they're pulling it off, but a lot of them have these nice, slick, animated intros. Uh, well done, it's, it's... I like that that was quick. I don't quite, it didn't quite give me a good idea as to what the overall story was going to be, but it looked kind of nice. Uh, first impressions without moving. Is this going to be another Metroidvania? We're about to find out. Uh, I like this fog. I really like that grave digger guy over there. Good music. Everything seems pretty solid. The animation looks good. So B is block, A is jump, X swipes the sword. Ooh, wow. R casts, right trigger casts a spell, right bumper. Okay, so this is definitely a Metroidvania. Ooh. All right, let's go, let's play. Well, you've come to the wrong... You've come to the wrong time, stranger. This place is normally pretty quiet, but lately all kinds of nightmarish monsters have been appearing. Even the wildlife has gone crazy, and believe you me, I know, crazy. I'm surprised how well that guy spoke, considering how incredibly insane he looked. You can go ahead of, if you like, but things are dangerous after dark. Heading into the graveyard after dark? That's nuts. This sort of reminds me already of, um, what's that game called? Like, Wonder Boy, I think it's called? Wonder Boy has really nice, slick, animated characters. Cool. So you can slide down walls here, you can wall jump. The moon seems weird, um, in terms of, of its positioning. I feel like it shouldn't be moving with the camera there. It should be so far away that it kind of stays in the same spot. Uh, so I think maybe they gave me a lot of abilities, because uh, I have a lot of different abilities. Wall jump, you can dash, shoot flames. So a lot of stuff is given to you right away. You can double jump. Really nice uh, effects. I've already seen, what, three different enemy types? Interact with that cat, gave me some coins. So every few steps they're giving me something to kind of interact with, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna choose to go off the beaten path here, and I wonder if I can jump on top of these guys. Nope. No, oh, I can just do that. I didn't think I'd make that jump, actually. Really well animated, uh, yeah, really well animated uh, characters. Oh, I really want to just, I really want to uh, be able to break those vases. Oh, 
There we go. Now should I go back? To get more coins, I might as well. Doesn't seem to be too dangerous. Ghost? Is that a bad guy or so? Okay, that's just the dead whisper tales that you have to be grounded to use earth magic. Okay. It's like a secret. Looks like a secret passage there, does it not? Nice, okay, so a whimsical score. If you're new to my channel, my name is Cooper Bebo. I play new indie games and I publish new videos every single week. Sometimes it's one of my own game. Uh, sometimes it's a video from other people's games. I try to give uh, critical feedback uh, just because I know how important it, it is for developers to get feedback. Um, you might not you might not always agree with my feedback, but you know, it's better than nothing. Ooh, I just died. Um, But I'm an actor, writer, and producer in film, television, and video games. I do have my own video game, which you can play the demo of right now, and depending on when you watch this video, you might even be able to purchase the game. Uh, we were part of Steam's Next Fest back in June, and we've kept the demo up. And released soon after, so we'll see. Give it a check. Give it a look at look see if you if that's if you want to check it out. It's a narrative driven platformer where you can choose to lean the whole game toward action or adventure. Um, it's kind of a Metroidvania. Ooh. Wonder if I can block upwards. Uh, where do I go? I realize that there is a... Hmm. This is interesting. So it's clearly showing me this place to the left here, which looks like I can break it. What's that do? Oh, that's a health. Hmm. But I don't think there's anywhere else I can go. I need to use that eyeball guy to shoot at the wall. Hmm. I'm gonna kill myself and see what happens here. Maybe I need that guy. Timing out for this guy. Come on, shoot me down here. Lower. He always shoots at the wrong time. It's so annoying. Come on, shoot over here when I'm down here. There we go. No. Did I miss something? I've got a. I'd like to keep playing, I just don't know 
what to do here. gonna be like a super obvious uh... sometimes it's super obvious what you're supposed to do and I'm just an idiot but why does this show me over here something it really wants me to see to interact with anything else. I don't know. I'm stuck. Is there anywhere else I can go? Doesn't seem like it. I came from over here, went all the way up here. There's no secret passages. I'm just stuck right here. Huh. I'm tempted to go look at the Discord, but I don't want to exit and stop filming. So unfortunately, it's going to be a quick one. Um, I was hoping to play more. Um, so I'm going to say... My impressions, everything plays well, everything works well, everything looks pretty cool, the music's good, yeah, it's it's well made. I will say, if you've, if you've been watching my channel, I've played a lot of Metroidvanias, um, and that's really my only critique usually of the genre when I play them is that, oh, it's another Metroidvania. Um, usually they don't really do much to set themselves apart from the other Metroidvanias. This one also, you know, it has that same issue where it's like, okay, most Metroidvanias, you have the standard attacks, you've got the dash, you've got, you know. It's, it's kind of the same thing I've already done a bunch of times, so I'm, I'm curious if this game does plan to separate itself a bit more. Um, I do like that it has some narrative focus uh, right off the bat, because I know a lot of Metroidvanias kind of ignore the narrative and they rely a lot on uh, environmental storytelling and lore and that kind of stuff. So I do like that there was some NPCs to talk to and, and kind of an op opening intro. I would, I would like to play more, but I just have no idea what to do. So if you're the developer, let me know what I did wrong here, or if there's something that I that should be happening that isn't happening. Um, but if you are watching, well done. I and I think it's really well made, and uh, it, it'll stay on my wish list. So um, it'll be a quick one today. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Cooper Bebo. I'm an actor, writer, producer of film, television, and video games. This video was brought to you by my Premium Plus members of my Patreon. Go there now. You can sign up for free, get access to my premium blog. I also do a monthly podcast right here where I talk about all my projects, catch everybody up, and just talk about whatever I feel like. Go to my Discord. It's free. I post a bunch of stuff on my projects as well, including Billy Saves the World a bunch of behind the scenes videos and all this kind of stuff. There's also a special section for paying members as well where you can talk about whatever you feel like, books, movies, music. It's just mostly myself right now talking to myself, but please check it out. And while you're at it, go to Steam, head to Billy Saves the World page and give it a wish list. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching again. Goodbye.